Grip changes are really hard to do, so having a process to do them and changing them will help you get into a position where you're doing it more often every single time. So we've got two uh, changes. So we have a strong grip and a neutral grip, and we're gonna work on how we can get those into a better position, which is gonna help your golf swing, get that ball flight going a bit straighter, and overall getting those scores better. So if we go for a strong uh, grip, we are gonna see more of this position. You can see my nails on my hand here. What that will encourage is if you go through here, we're gonna slice the ball, or if you activate your hands, you're gonna get the ball going left. You can see how inconsistent that could be. So to get that strong grip into a more neutral place, the easiest thing to do is put your club here and take your grip from this position. We can't physically get your hands too much underneath, and as a result, we change grip more naturally. The opposite is if we've got weak grip. So a weak grip that I see in lessons are if we've got thumbs pointing down the shaft. What this does is then it limits our ability to actually rotate hard and we can leave that face open, that ball is going to go right. So again, it's the opposite. We're going to have the club here and we're going to grip from this side. This strengthens our grip. So ideally what we want to see from the top down is two knuckles on this side. This right hand goes on top and then that gets us in a neutral place. Now obviously it depends on where your ball flight goes. Now if the ball is going right, you want a stronger grip. So grip the club from this place. If the ball is going too much left, we can go from this place. So that is going to be a quick solve just to help your ball flight if you are working on your grip.